of course. What's going on Star Wars fans? Jesse here, welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Brand new one came to, the, to me today. It's Princess Leia in Endor. This is part of the wave with the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. I came across this one in a big W. I was just on my lunch break at work and decided to do a little bit of a toy run around the shopping center where I work. Um, and just stopped into Big W and they actually had about five or six of these. Um, so I picked up what I thought was the best paint one. Um, so it is VC191. Also in the wave will be Paplu and uh, ATST Driver. So this was the only one, uh, the only peg that had them on them was listed specifically for Princess Leia. So not sure what's happening with the other two figures in terms of its release in Australia. So keep your eyes open. They could show up in Big W as well. That seems like the best bet at the moment, considering this one has been released there, uh, but also potentially Zing. Um, so keep your eyes peeled. Keep in mind, they are only $24 at Big W, whereas Zing is charging $29 Australian now. So either way, let's crack this figure open, take a look and we'll compare it to a last release, which has been quite a long time. All right, here is Leia out of the box and uh, for the most part it's a great looking figure um, nice new head sculpt uh, which is looking pretty damn good on this figure to be honest it's a little bit of a, like a sort of a sad look um, to it I'm not sure whether that's just me could be the light it looks okay um, new poncho which looks looks nice uh, but aside from that, the rest of the figure is a complete uh, re-release slash repaint of the old one. I thought this was actually going to be a new figure given we got the new head sculpt, new look to the poncho. Uh, but nope, Hasbro has gone and repainted uh, 2007's Princess Leia. Um, buddy asked me when I posted the photo on Instagram whether she'd be able to sit on the speeder bike. And uh, yeah, she's gone back to the old swivel hips, which was the instant giveaway to me that it was a older figure. And you can see there the date stamp. Get it to focus. 2007. So we're looking at almost a 15 year old figure here. Um, you know, it is a nice update though. The, the, the coloring of the poncho is a lot better. The belt looks nice. Um, just the overall detail looks, looks a lot nicer. So I, I'm honestly glad I picked this one up. Um, and uh, yeah, I wasn't so bummed about the uh, Han Solo feeling like the only one, the uh, Endor Han Solo that's due to come out later this year. Um, or well, it's coming out very shortly, actually. I think it's just coming out now. <laughs> anyway, um, Luke's the one that's coming a little bit later. Uh, but I thought Luke being a new one, potentially, I wouldn't bank on it now, lay a what I thought was a new one, Han being a uh, re-release was a little bit of a bummer, but um, looks like more than likely they're all going to be re-releases. So here is the old one from 2007. So um, yeah, the uh, head sculpt was in dire need of a of an update, and they've done a great job on that. So I'll commend Hasbro for the, for the effort on that because I think that's you know definitely a nice upgrade. The helmet is a nice upgrade too. And it uh, fit, looks nice and fits really nicely on the head. Looks a lot better than uh, this old thing. Better details, all the good stuff. So I think I'll be displaying this one without the helmet. Just to make use of that nice head sculpt. She does come with her blaster pistol. And much like the uh, recent six inch version and the original, the uh, belt is removable through the poncho. We can get her in her sort of general, general's outfit, which is a good look for the figure. Um, be very tempted to probably just put this new poncho and the helmet on the old layer and keep this one like this. Um, Cause that does look quite, quite nice. Maybe the other way around. I'm yet to decide. A bit of paint missing sort of from the back of the hair there. I guess 
so you don't really see that when the poncho is sort of bunched up around the neck, but um, otherwise it's not a terrible figure. Um, <clears throat> the fact that it is 14 years old just feels a little bit lazy, I'll be honest. Um, but you know, it's it's cool, it's a nice update, so I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Um, looks good on the card too, so <laughs> that's that's one good thing about it. So love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please drop a comment, hit the thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. I just hit 4,000 subscribers and I'm going to be doing my 4K giveaway tomorrow. So check back on that video if you missed it. And uh, you can be in the running to win my awesome, super duper awesome 4K prize pack. So <clears throat> stay tuned for some more reviews. I've got plenty more coming in the coming coming days and weeks, etc. Hope you can join me for all of them. Thank you very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you, always.